Now we're going to show you how to use the bazooka bob. We're going to use the mini bob today for demonstration purposes. Now out of the box, you're ready to go. You just need to remove the wadding and the base of the unit to free up the plumb bob inside. Next, you want to loosen the thumb screw at the top and extend your inside tube out as far as you need it. Then, you retighten the thumb screw to set the inside tube. It's very important to remember to tighten that thumb screw. Even if the inside tube is out all the way, you still need to tighten that thumb screw. Now it's finger tight only. You don't need pliers, you don't need a jackhammer. Your fingers will tighten it just fine. Then, you lift the bazooka and let the magnet grab onto the column. Release the base and that will draw the bottom end tight. What guys get worried about right off the bat is there's an offset in the base of this magnet. That offset is what helps draw this in nice and tight. Then you reach under and dampen the plumb bob on the inside and you're ready to take your reading. Now inside the base of the unit you have a linear gauge here. That linear gauge is in one eighth of an inch increments. So it's one eighth, one quarter, three eighths, and one half inch. As you adjust your column, the plumb line, when that lines up with the center mark, they're both the same width. So when that plumb line lines up with the center mark, you're perfect. If it says you're an eighth of an inch out, you're an eighth of an inch out. If it says a quarter of an inch, you're a quarter of an inch out. Another feature of the bazooka is this rear pass-through. What this rear pass-through does is allow you to take your reading from the rear of the bazooka as well. Where your line will come in handy is if you're using two bazookas, you can take your reading from north-south and east-west at the same time. You take your one reading here, look through your pass-through, and you can get your other reading for level. Now, once your column is straight and you're ready to move, don't do that. You've got a 108 pound test pull magnet inside here. It's not going anywhere if you yank on it. To remove the bazooka, you just pull out, twist, and off it comes. And you're ready for your next column.